good morning or whenever you're doing this. Um, I'm over at my friend's house, which is cool. I got this nice, he's got this cool thing behind me, and a pretty nice carpet. So uh, we're going to do some awesome back stuff today and a little bit for the hips as well. And so let's get started. Find your nice seated position wherever you feel comfortable. Maybe like one foot's way out here. And maybe you're able to pull it in and sit like that. But wherever you are, just lift your hips up, up off the ground like that. Your hips might realign. And then you'll have that perfect kind of seated position. You can feel equal weight on both of your sit bones. So from there, just find a comfortable spot for your hands resting on your knees or in your lap. And then close your eyes and just take a breath in. <sighs> Give yourself another nice deep breath in through the nose. Just let that out. Allow yourself to relax. And just set your intention. You know, probably like I'm here to do yoga, to go through a couple of postures that are awesome and helpful for my back. Um, helping me feel good and relaxed and loose. And we are ready to begin. So, first off, we'll warm ourselves up. Get those fingertips onto your shoulders. Have your elbows pointed out to the side. And we're just going to breathe out through our nose as we turn. So, breathe in a little bit to center. Breathe out to the side. And then as you do this, make sure you have your back nice and straight. You don't want to be slouched over like this and twisting. You'll be putting a lot of undue stress along the spine instead of helping to relax and loosen the upper back and the, and the uh, spinal column. So yeah, just make sure that back is nice and straight and breathing out on those twists. Settle back down, breathing in, we'll raise our hands up overhead. And just stretch really way up there. But then, ah, also something cool to notice is if you're stretching, 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 notice that your shoulders aren't coming up to your ears, right? Keep the shoulders down, but you're still stretching very much up. Yeah, and just feel the difference when you do that. So. Now our backs feel a little bit nice and light, a little warmed up. Um, let's do another one. So let's tuck our feet in, have our knees bent, and let's just bring our head between our knees. And so you're definitely, you should be feeling this, especially in the morning, you know, through the neck and some part down the spine, maybe even all the way down to your butt, depending on how tight those muscles are. Okay, hang out here. We're going to be holding our poses a little long because we're making this kind of a, just doing a couple of positions, a couple of stretches, and not doing as much flow. Just like, let's do this one and we'll hang out here for a minute. Then we'll go over here, we'll do this one. We'll hang out here for a minute. So hang out here, head between the knees, feel that stretch wherever it is. And as we're stretching today, um, kind of notice how it feels between 0 to 10, where 0 is no stretch and 10 is super intense, um, probably causing pain stretch. And we don't want to want to be, want to be around the 5 in our stretches today. Um, all right, you can breathe in and come back up and then cross those legs one more time 
See if you can bring yourself forward, folding from the hip like a hinge. You want to keep the chest open and maybe the head up, which lets you keep your back nice and straight. And you can bring your fingertips down to the floor, or maybe you can get your palms down to the floor, or maybe you can start reaching those hands further out. But you're going to feel a beautiful stretch through uh, whatever leg is on top, through the kind of back of that leg. And also, you might feel something in the lower back with connecting to the hip. So we're just going to hang out here, 30 seconds. And through all of our stretching today, one of the reasons you don't want it to be more than a five, or like really more than a seven. A seven and less, like between five and seven is pretty good. Um, but we're not trying to shock the muscles. So if we're stretching too much and they're not used to it, they're going to fight that. They're like, well, this is new and uncomfortable. It's probably scary and dangerous. And so they're going to be fighting against that stretch. All right, breathe in, come back up. And then hands overhead, breathing in. And then we'll twist to our left. Bring the right hand to your left knee and just twist behind you. We'll hang out here for a few breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Just take that full breath and notice how deep the stretch becomes. We're filling those lungs up with air, which is expanding the rib cages, which is a, putting additional stretch in those muscles. And then when we breathe out, we might be able to get a little bit more twist in there. But again, we're not going to our max here. We're just going five to seven. And then you can breathe in, bring those hands up overhead. And we're just going to twist to the other side. Again, make sure you notice that that back is straight. You're not leaning backwards. You know, you're not leaning back into the stretch, but you're, you're staying completely upright. You have that nice straight column that you're twisting from. Yoga is a really great practice to start connecting to the body and being able to see how are you holding yourself in any given moment. Inhale, bring those hands up overhead. And then we're going to switch our legs. Whatever was on top, bring the bottom. Whatever was on bottom, bring the top. And then we're just going to fold forward again. Hands up overhead. Bring the hands down. And just put those hands wherever that stretch takes you. So maybe you have your fingertips. Maybe you're down to your palms. Maybe you're walking yourself forward a little bit. nice deep slow breathing because again if you're breathing very slowly and deeply that's a signal to the body that everything is fine I don't have to breathe quickly which means there's no danger everything is safe and it allows your body to relax into that stretch more easily and if the muscles fighting us then it's going to be counterproductive and it could lead to injury so this is uh, a nice and slow practice. All right, so breathe in, hands up overhead. Uh, and then bring your hands to our, like parallel, pointing to our sides. And then we're gonna breathe out, bring that left hand down and bring the right hand up. We're gonna hang out here for 10, seven, five, Four. I'm going to bring that elbow down, see how you feel, and two, one, come back up, inhale, hands overhead, and kind of neutralize and reset the back, breathing out, hands to our side, lean to our right, left hand up overhead, hang out here for ten, right now we're warming up that side body for our next uh, future stretch where we're going to get even deeper into that. So if you feel good, you can bring that elbow down. I want to have that kind of lined up with our hip. So 
hold for another four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Inhaling, come back up, and hands overhead. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come into our uh, hip flexors. So you can kind of roll over onto your hands and knees. I'm going to point sideways here. We're just going to do a quick uh, cat cow to kind of just let the back feel good. So you can bring that tuck the butt up, bring your chin up, find that arch. This is your cow. And then cat is you tuck the tailbone in, round the back out, bring your head down. Good to go. Inhaling, bring the butt back up, bring the head up. And then one more, breathing out, tuck the butt down, bring the head down, round out the back. And now we're ready. So you can come up onto your knees, bring that, just bring the right foot out. So we're in a slight lunge here. You can find your balance, we'll build a little bit more muscles and a body connection. And then from here, what we're gonna do is bring the hands down if we can get them onto the floor. And then we're just gonna kind of fall into our knee here and you're gonna feel a stretch. Here, I'll show you on this side. So you're gonna feel a stretch through the, uh, these hip flexors. And so you can bring the hands down and then just allow yourself to kind of fall in there. See what you can feel. I have pretty flexible hip flexors so I can get really low. But maybe you're only here and you're feeling that stretch. As long as you're feeling a stretch, you're then it's a really great exercise and you're doing really good. And something that you can build into is you can bring your hands up overhead and you can lean into it with the hands up and you're gonna feel it come all the way through and you're gonna work on this, it's called the psoas. Uh, it's a muscle that connects the upper torso to the lower uh, part of the body. And so anyway, something that you can look at and maybe build into over time. All right, come back up, breathing in. And then we're gonna just sit back. We're gonna bring our heel, point our toes to the ceiling. We're just gonna feel a stretch. This is called the half split or the runner's pose. And you should be feeling something through the back of the leg. Just hang out here, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful. You can switch your leg, bring the other one up. So I think I have my right leg up, but you can bring your left leg forward. And again, bring those hands down, lean into that knee and allow that kind of your hip to sink down. Feel that stretch through the back leg, upper thigh and into the hip. And you can keep your hands down or you can try to bring them up overhead wherever you might be. Hang out here for another five, four, three, two, one. And then allow yourself to just kind of sit back, straighten out that front leg, point your toes to the ceiling, just feel a stretch in that half split runner's pose through the back of that leg. Keeping your hands down, you know, fingertips on the floor. Maybe you can get your, your, your palms on the ground. So yeah, keep those fingertips there. And feel that stretch through the back. For me, I'm feeling it all the way back here, all the way up to my sit bones. Four, three, two, one. All right, roll back in, bring those knees down. And you can sit back into your child's pose. This is when you just sit down onto your heels. Allow that back. The lower back will have a really nice stretch here. All right, and then we're gonna come up. We're going to sit on our butt, have our feet out in front of us, and we're going to 
Exhale, our legs nice and wide. Bring in that right leg. And then we're going to inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold from the hip again. Shoulders are open, chest is open. Our head stays up and we keep that back nice and straight. Maybe this way we can get a better view. But you can see coming down. So you might be able to do that and touch your knee or maybe you can touch your shins or maybe you can touch your toes or touch your heel. But we're just putting a nice stretch through the underside of our left leg. And then something you can do is you can reach your right hand to the outside of that leg or to the outside of your foot. And you're going to feel that awesome stretch in your upper back, maybe even through the side thigh. And again, this is a nice warm up for the next, the next go. And inhaling, come back up. And this is a little bit tricky. You're going to take your left hand, bring it like your left finger, bring it underneath that ankle or the Achilles. You want to connect your elbow to your knee, left elbow, left knee, finger underneath. And maybe your knee is super bent and that's totally great. Uh, but we're going to kind of push our elbow, twist it into that knee. And then we're going to twist our shoulder. We're going to bring our right hand up overhead. And we're going to feel an amazing stretch through our right side body and into the back as well, maybe. And so with our head, we can either look up at our hand or we can look straight ahead and keep that spine nice and straight with the rest of our back. You know, our neck spine with our back spine. Very technical terms here. <laughs> and so we're going to hang out here for a little while because this is a real, really nice stretch. You're going to feel really good after doing these ones. You can practice taking those really deep, slow breaths, allowing that stretch to get even more and more and over time I can't do it properly but over time you can even stretch all the way down but you're supposed to go kind of like this and all the way touch your toes that's not really safe for me to do yet so hold here for another five four three, two, and one. Inhaling, we can bring that right hand down. We can twist our shoulders back and we can unhook our fingers and we can come back up and we can switch our feet. Right foot comes out, left foot comes in. Inhaling, we can bring our hands up. Folding from the hips, we can come down, find that nice stretch on our right leg. And you can also just notice how different is this leg compared to the other leg. Maybe you favor one side over the other. And you can bring that left hand to the outside of the leg or the outside of the foot. And feel that a little bit of a stretch, maybe in the scapula, upper back, maybe along that left side. But inhaling, we can bring ourselves nice straight back up. We're going to bring our right finger underneath that right ankle, Achilles. We're going to line up our right elbow with our right knee, just like we did on the other side. We're going to twist into it, bring our, twist our shoulders, bring our left hand up into the air, point it to the ceiling, and feel a really awesome stretch through our left side. Again, we're going to hang out here for 30. Just get yourself feeling into it. The more often you do it, the more comfortable it's going to feel, the more natural it's going to feel. And keep 
Keep playing with those deep breaths. For another five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that left hand down, undo your little twist, unhook your finger, and we're back up. Really nice. Let's do a quick twist for our back. Just a nice, easy one. Hands up overhead, breathing in, breathing out. We're going to twist to our left. Hang out here for one breath. And then inhale, hands overhead. We're going to twist to our right, left hand to our right knee. Hang out here for a breath. And then inhaling, hands overhead. Beautiful. We're going to fall down, we're going to lie on our backs. Perfect. And then you're going to bring your knees in. Tuck those knees into your chest. Feel that relaxingness. Maybe you want to roll side to side. Maybe you just want to hang out. And from here, you can bring those feet. Bring them both back out. Bring that right leg in. Bring the right knee in. You can bring that right foot, just point it up to the sky. And then from here, if you have a strap, you can pull your Pull your leg in and maybe feel a stretch through here. I can go like all the way over here. And as you do it, keep your foot nice and flexed. You can see like my foot is pointed and then it's flexed. Pointed, flexed. So you want to keep it like this, nice and flexed while we're giving this little stretch. And then from here, you can bring that right leg nice and when it's straight. Bring that over the left side and so you feel a stretch through your IT band, perhaps, and maybe some other places as well. And do your best to keep your shoulders on the ground, both shoulders nice and flat, and get that stretch going through that right leg. And we'll just hang out here for another 10. Nine, seven, five, three, two, one. And you can go ahead and bring it back up, however it feels most comfortable. You can bring it, extend it, bring it back in, tuck the knee in, and then you can do that 90 degree knee, supine twist. You bring your left hand to your right knee, help guide it over. You can uh, bring your right hand all the way out to the side or bring it into cactus, like so. Again, we're just gonna get that really nice stretch through our back and also maybe a bit through that IT band on our right leg through the side of our thigh. And we're gonna be turning our head to our right side. It's gonna be opposite direction of our twist. Twisting to the left, looking to the right. And just enjoy it here for another 10. And five, two, and one. All right, come back nice and gently. We can bring both knees into the chest. And then we can extend that right leg out, keep the left knee in, straighten out that left leg, flex the foot. Nice straight leg and just feel that stretch in the back of it. Maybe if you have a strap, you can pull your foot further, or you can just kind of grab a hold of the calf or grab a hold of the, the back thigh. 
and, uh, and pull it forward. But you should be feeling a nice stretch in the back of the leg here. All right, and then we can bring that straight leg across our body, twisting to the right side. And just getting that stretch through the side of our leg here, and you'll feel it potentially all the way up to the hip bone, all the way up to the top of that femur, and coming down the leg, down to the knee. And that's your whole IT band area. It's gonna be nice and tight a lot of the times. So we'll hang out here for 10, nine, seven, five, three, and two, and one. And you can release that back up to center. Straighten the leg, bring the knee back into the chest, left leg, give it that 90 degree angle, and bring your left knee and leg over to the right side. You can guide it with your right hand on that left knee, or twist it to the right, so we're looking to our left. We're keeping both shoulders on the ground. We can extend that left hand all the way out to our side, or we can bring it into cactus pose. And let's just stay here for a little while. Hang out for another five. Two. One. Excellent. You can find your twist back. Bring both knees in. Then you can grab the outsides of your feet. Bring up into happy baby. Kind of find a little bit of opening in our, in our hips here as well. And then whenever you're ready, you can bring those feet just in front of you, extend the legs out, bring your hands down beside you, palms facing the sky, and just hang out here in Shavasana or corpse pose. I said this is the most important pose because it allows the body to kind of integrate all of the stretching that we've done. It needs this moment to be able to kind of take all of it in and allow it to, uh, I guess, transition back into the normal use. Check in with your body. Notice how you're feeling right now, in this moment. Feel good that you were here for yourself, for this practice, you're taking care of your body, and helping it to feel good, helping you to feel good. So, you know, you can congratulate yourself. You just feel really nice. to your side, find your way back to a seated position. Uh, so thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this session. 
um, and thank you for everything. Thank you for being here in this video. Um, and have a really nice day or a really great sleep. Um, I'll see you next time. Namaste. Mm.